Hi, uh, this is 9.5 vector differential equations. This time it's for defective coefficient matrix. Last time it was kind of quick for non-defective. I gave you two examples, one for uh, regular lambdas and Vs with real numbers and real vectors. And the second example was for imaginary conjugates how would you pull out the real parts out of it? Let's handle the non, uh, not no, the non defective, the defective ones that we are not having enough vectors to do it. And we'll slow down on the example. Here we go. Vector differential equations, this time it's defective coefficient matrix. Find the general solution. I'm going to go through the main steps quick I'll slow it down when it's needed we know how to start all the time we try to find lambdas and V's and let's move on uh, this is just like another way to give it to you if they did not give you a you could read it out of this right here uh, for x1 is 0 for x2 it's 1 and so on we just like to support reading it both ways it depends on the way the problem is typed and given to you. So as you could see, I'm trying to skip the steps, the algebra steps and save you some time, but you could pause and look at it and verify yourself. Solving for lambda, I got lambda equals three. We take it back in, in A and we solve for the vectors that might come up from. Uh, by the way, this three is repeated twice. You know that, but let's move on. Okay. with multiplicity of 2 showing you the steps instead of skipping them I got 1 3 remember last time I told you about the bonus and the on uh, 9.4 take a look at this if you want to skip those steps 1 negative 3 1 3 they are switched and opposite one of them so if there is a minus, it didn't show up. If you could handle it, fine. If not, just do the steps. It doesn't hurt. Now, notice now here they did not write V1. I'm not writing these ones and slow it down, but I'm slowing down when it's needed. We got lambda. We got a vector only one vector it's a 2 by 2 n is 2 just one vector but they called it v0 interesting right this is the first time we see this okay let's move on one eigenvector so a is defective so we have a solution of the form this is called V sub 0 as I mentioned in the previous slide. For X sub 0, E to the lambda T times V sub 0. Uh, they don't call them here X1 and X2. They call them X sub 0 and X sub 1 because they look different from the previous section. So X sub 0 is E to the power 3T. Lambda is 3. And V sub 0 that we agreed on is 1, 3. All right. Now, how do you find the second vector? This is new to us. To find the second linearly independent solution, it's called X1, because this one is called X sub 0, it will be of the form X1 equals e to the power lambda t times V1 plus t times v sub 0 where v sub 0 and v1 have to follow these three conditions it's kind of like algebra steps that you have to play with back and forth to target v sub 0 v sub 1 that will match fit these three equations I have two examples for you on this section, so let's go. 
So, so far, a minus lambda i is, that's this part right here, and this part right here, the square one, just do the math, came up to be zero. So in this case, that's not helping much. And v sub zero is one three. If you put this here, you put this right there, you could solve for v1. That's what I'm doing. It's not too hard to solve for v1. If you want to see the steps, for the convenience, you could call v1, x, and y. It's kind of hard to call it v1 and v2 now. And solve for x and y. I'm writing the steps for you guys so you could follow. Now end up with y equals 1. And x equals 0. Now we have v1. Put it right there. Put v0 right there. v sub 0, I mean. e to the 3t, because lambda is 3. And that will give you x1. So the second linearly independent solution, x1, is of this format right here. Put everything where it belongs. Let's go to the second page because this page is filled. But you could see why I'm slowing down. Because this is the main part. This is the whole story. Once you know that it's only one vector, our matrix is a 2 by 2. You write the first vector and you target the second vector with some algebra following those three conditions. Now, let's summarize the whole thing in a clean page. To summarize, we have x sub 0 and x sub 1 in general. In our case, that's what we have. Combining them will be called the general solution as a linear combination. Let's do that. So C1 x sub 0 and C2 times x sub 1 will be called the general solution. That's x sub 0 and that is x sub 1. You could go farther and the steps are coming. I'm sure you could follow it. That's 0 plus t times 1. Multiply by e to the power 3t. That's what I have here. Add it to 1 e to the power 3t times c1, which is right there. This gives you two of them, as you can see. Or you could combine these two first, which is 1 plus 3t multiplied by this for the param part. It's right there. Let's take another example. Solve the vector differential equation x prime equals ax if a equals 6, negative a, 2, and negative 2. Of course, you know what we do? We have to go for lambdas and v's, and if it's non defective, we follow the regular steps. If it's defective, we're gonna play the game like today again. Here is the lambda, which is 2 repeated twice, showing you the steps instead of skipping them to find v's. I have v equals 2 and 1. In 
I'm trying to save you some time guys and I'm not reading this but you could just go through it we need to get to the main part of this section which means I have the first solution it's only one vector a 2 by 2 that means it's defective and that's our title for this section so I have x sub 0 as they call it e to the power lambda t times our column vector which is 2 1 let's play the game again remember that whole information it's now displayed here for you again so it could stay focused right here same thing like before in this problem we have a minus lambda i and a minus lambda i square is again zero which is not gonna help me here what is v1 we need v1 such that it will satisfy this right here and this right here because that's not gonna help me here for simplicity we take v1 equals 1 0 now this might confuse some students but trust me anything that will make this true is true you don't have to worry too much you have the first one you need v sub 0 and v sub 1 as long as it fits right here you find yourself another linearly independent solution if you don't like one zero go with five and zero two and zero a fraction but trust me uh anything that will not contradict these two because that's not gonna uh do much for me now as you could see will do if this is on a quiz or a test and some students are giving me different answers here all what i need to do is to see if it works for them and they get full credit it doesn't have to be one and zero but if one of zero works take it if zero one works take it if you want to go two and three well you have to make it fit such that two and three here will end up times this much right there gives you v sub zero so anyway i think you got your, my point so here's v sub zero this is our choice for 1 and 0 we came up with v sub 0 is 4 and 2 now this is not too much different from this right here where is that let me show you this is 4 comma 2 and this is 2 comma 1 uh, they represent the same vector space remember like 2 1 uh, 2 for x 1 for y if you want to go 4 for x 2 for y it's the same line so same thing if you pick if you want this to be uh, what was it 2 and 1 yes 2 and 1 if you want this to be 2 and 1 you need this to be probably half if you like fractions go for it but it doesn't make any difference 4 and 2 will do instead of 2 and 1 and 1 of 0 is not a, good, a bad choice and that's it that's my advice to you it's kind of hard to do like five six examples here uh, to show you the idea but it's simple algebra as long as you could play the game and match it and end up with v0 and v1 you will be fine let's move on so we have x sub 0 the formal way that's our x sub 0 with our numbers in that's x 1 1 x sub 1 the formal way and that's ours in two different formats so the general solution is a linear combination of both if you write it this way you're fine if you write it this way you're fine because sometimes students say ask like which way is right do I get full credit here or there 
either way is fine you just need to be aware that this is one form and this is another form that should do it for 9.5 as you can see I slowed down where it's needed I don't want to slow down reading the steps of finding lambdas and V's the focus was on playing the game to find X sub 1 after you find X sub 0 I hope that was uh, good enough to cover the idea of course it takes more time to practice but that's what I have I don't want to make the video instead of like 20 minutes 45 minutes just to highlight the main idea you could see my writing trying to send clear messages to what you want hopefully you appreciate that guys and I'll see you for the coming section 9.6 and that's our last section for this semester right after this thank you for watching and if you did not subscribe subscribe uh, hit the like button if you do like it I really appreciate it until next time peace Jabber time as always thank you